<laughs> it's a good day for it too. We got good weather. It is, yeah. But you know, something that I am always not very good about is washing my car before it rains, and it's going of to course. rain Monday to Tuesday. So do everything outside today except go get a car wash, go walk the dog, <laughs> go to the grocery store, go get some avocados, whatever it is. <laughs> but um, if you park the car outside, we're going to get some really great rain overnight Monday into Tuesday. So maybe hold off on getting um, a car wash. But like we were talking about, really, really great weather if you're headed out to go pick up take out for the game or maybe you're going to a friend's house for the Super Bowl party. Um, great, great weather this afternoon. Temperatures are pretty cold this morning though in the 20s and the 30s, but we warm up nicely as we head into this afternoon. So temperatures across the region in the 20s and the 30s, very similar to where we are here across northeastern Oklahoma. And we are still sitting in the 20s up in Vanita in Miami, 24 in Pryor at this hour and 34 in central Oklahoma. So Temperatures in the 40s by 10 a.m., 50s by lunchtime, and 60s this afternoon. Now, clear skies right now, but we'll begin to see the cloud cover increase as we head into this afternoon, along with the winds that will pick up out of the south at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. So today, temperatures all across green country in the mid-60s, some of us climbing towards the 70s, but not quite yet. Now, 70s on the way for later this week, overnight tonight, and into our Monday morning. We start the week in the 30s. Some will be lucky to be in the 40s. And then Monday ahead of our next system that arrives a weak, weak cold front. It's not going to impact our temperatures, but it will bring us a chance for rain. So temperatures to start the week in the 60s. We do see the cloud cover increasing once again, all ahead of our next chance for some thunderstorms. So this is going to be late, late Monday and into early, early Tuesday, and it's going to move out quickly and we're going to be clear for the day on Tuesday and any Valentine's plans you have. So let's go ahead and walk you through this. Temperatures in the 60s tonight, falling into the 30s for Monday morning. We'll see the cloud cover decrease overnight before it moves back in Monday afternoon. Could see a sprinkle or two, especially for our southwestern counties, but for the most part, we stay dry until the overnight hours. So a weak line of rain moves in during about the 9, 10 p.m. hour, all ahead of the bigger line of thunderstorms that moves into western Oklahoma by about 10 p.m. And then here comes the widespread rain. Could see pockets of heavy rainfall, lightning and thunder, but otherwise a low, low in severe weather risk. Not going to see it with these storms, but of course we'll keep an eye on it for you. Temperatures in the 40s and the 50s Tuesday morning, and then it's out of here. So that is the best chance for rain this week. Also keeping an eye on Wednesday and into Thursday, uh, but a bigger cold front going to arrive Thursday. So you're going to want to enjoy these temperatures while we have them. Tuesday temperatures in in the upper 60s and then Wednesday 70s for some awesome awesome news there temperature trend there comes the cold front Wednesday into Thursday cold air doesn't stick around too long because we rebound nicely as we head towards the weekend but not bad for a seven day plan or 60s through Wednesday 70s Wednesday and then that cold front knocks us back down